Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tax Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to demonstrate a very, very important use case, which is searching our data from a CSV file. So we will look at if you have a CSV file, how to search a particular data based on some input. Okay, so guys, before we uh, get started, I will ask everyone to please subscribe my channel so that you can get regular updates of my YouTube channel to learn more and more every day. I also wanted to give you one useful information. Uh, there's a book on the Visual Builder. The title is Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. If you are interested to learn Oracle Visual Builder with a lot of real-time example from starting to end, you can opt this book. If you wanted to buy this book, you simply copy and paste this link in the, in the browser. You will be landed onto the Amazon from where you can buy this book. You can become a member of my YouTube channel. You can view all the benefits of the membership. You can see this video or you can see the perks on call and demand, web session support, proof of concept of the membership. Okay, so let's get started. So let's consider you have one CSV file which is uh, on the FTP location and it is in the format like employee ID, employee address, first name, and then last name, which may have a, a number of records. So let's let's take a uh, use case here uh, you have this file and the employee id is the unique basis on the employee id you want to get the data from a csv file so this is one of the important use case let's suppose you have a table and basis on that table uh, from this table you get the employee record based on the employee id so here in instead of using the table i have a csv file wherein i have the employee records and will search that record from the file. So let's get started and see how we can execute this use case. So for this, I'm going to take you to the OIC screen and let me just develop an integration here and I will develop a app driven orchestration integration and I will take a name like uh, search employee data from file. Okay, and create. So I will create a REST API, which will take, which will uh, take the, the employee ID is the, uh, the input parameter and will send the response, the employee address, first name and last name. So here, let's say search user API. Okay, click on the next button. Here I will say search and here I will pass the ID. I will use get, configure this endpoint to receive the response. Click next. Here you see ID has been, uh, template parameter has been generated. I will say send response in the JSON. I will provide the JSON sample here and it will be in JSON. I will say email address. It's a uh, first name and then last name okay so i wanted to get all these three fields from a csv file based on the employee id next and then finish fine now i will use the sftp connection here to read the file first okay so let's say read file click on the next button and i will say read file here i will configure my uh, input directory, the input directory is slash home opc my, and I will provide the name of my CSV file. So the file is written, file is already there on this particular directory and the name of the file is employee.csv. Next, so that will be a CSV file. Click next. I will upload the same format from my file. <clears throat> So here you see, I have just picked up that employee CSV file. Here I will say employee and I will say employee second. Fine, simply next and then finish. I don't need to configure anything in the request. I will simply use this response mapper. And here you see in the response mapper, we don't have, let it be, expand it is because of the recommend it takes time 
Okay, here you see. Now we don't have any for each, but however, when you expand it, means I don't have the repeated element here. Employee set and then employee. So this is my repeated element. So I want to loop over the records and will get the data based on that employee ID. So no worries. What I'm going to do, I am going to click on access LT, which will which will give me the for. And I can put the for here. Or oh, no worries, I have to first create a node here on the employee address, and I can put a for on top of this. And now I can put this employee on the for each. Right now, then I want to make a condition after the for each. And I will say if employee ID equals to this ID, okay, then only map the employee address to employee address, first name to first name, last name to last name. So this if is only for the email address because we have created the target node on this, but the first name, last name is not under the if or for each. So we can do it from the code section itself here. Here you see for each and if is only for the email address. So what I can do, I can simply copy the whole thing here. And then paste it here. Fine. So I need to remove all these things. I need to only take the till this thing first name to first name and then also here this one fine and i can simply delete all this system so you see under for each we have the if condition then email address first name and then last name click on a validate you will not be able to see the designer now because we have multiple uh, element under the if condition but here you see mapping is valid if you go to the designer it will not take me to the designer but no issues close and now i am done let's enable the tracking which is one of the mandatory step to activate the integration and then save now save and then close it now my integration is completed and let's try to test the integration and we'll see the result here. So we have four records on the file, which I have shown you in the presentation also like 12, 13, 14, 15, and we'll look at that. Let's try to test it, right? ID, let's try to put 12 and let's click on a test button and we'll see what will happen. If everything is fine, then I should get the data. Oh, so here you see, I am getting employee address, first name, last name. I am getting each and everything. There might be uh, some issues here, but no worries. Let's try to fix that one. There might be a little problem here. No worries. Let's fix it. Oh. So here you see the ID is not there. Condition is not there. So let's do one thing. Let's first remove this thing. Okay. Let me just control X. Validate and go to the designer now. So condition is not there actually. That was the problem. Designer. Oh, there's a problem, I guess. Maybe, so let's do one thing. Let's simply delete target node, create target node again, okay? And then XSLT, XSLT, and then block control, put it on top of the email address, and then employ, put employee on the for each and then put if after the for each here and then provide the employee ID and then equals and then ID here. Maybe I, I have not clicked on this hence equals was not there. Now here you see now again go to the code and let me just now you can see 
or I need to employ address to employ address as well. Fine, go to a code here. Now you see employ address to employ address and let me just paste the remaining code which I have copied, first name, first name, fine. Now validate, I'm good and here uh, you can see condition is also there. Fine, close, save and then close. Let's try to test it now. This time the data should come. Okay. Test. And now test. Now if everything also okay, the data should come based on the ID only, which I have passed here. Here you see. Let's try to pass starting here. Let's we'll see what data I will get. I will get the different data based on that ID. Here you see, similarly, you can try to put 14. Here we go. So this is how you can search data from a CSV file based on an input. So if you have a two inputs, you want to search it, you can have two condition under that. that's all about this uh, lecture if you have any question any doubt please keep uh, posting your question i will be happy to answer your question you can find me over linkedin twitter facebook you can see my blog https colon slash www.taxapa.com and please don't subscribe to don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates thank you bye bye